Hello everyone, it's Justin, your favorite magical spiritual negro. This is Grinding, your prophetic news channel. Anyway, let's go ahead and just kind of jump into it. So, I am hearing what the Lord is saying, and He's saying, as best of my ability, I can hear. Um, oh no, poor guy. But he is saying, oh dear, that's not, that's no bueno. Um, but he's saying that remember who you are, remember whose you are. I like, that sounds like a very, very basic thing, you know. I mean, we hear that all the time, right? We hear, you know. Remember who you, how, who you are, and who you are. You know, we we hear that an awful lot. But have you actually ever, for real, sat down to really think about what that means? You know, have you ever really sat down to think about the implications of that? Never really sat down to think about like not only not only like because you can come up with this idea this then this like I've heard that before 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 in Christendom you can hear a lot of things a lot of times and we even see that in the Bible where God will repeat Himself about things and the thing is though is that like. Have you really thought about it, though? For real? Have you for real thought about it, bruh? <laughs> you know? Have you for real thought about it? Have you for real thought about who you, whose you are? Who do you belong to? You know? So, maybe an analogy might be appropriate here. Jaden Smith, right? Jaden Smith knows who he is, whose he is. Now he has some I idea of an identity, I think. You know, that's not what I'm really getting at here. I'm, I'm getting at the fact that because of who, whose he is, he is the son of Will Smith one of the most famous people on the doggone planet. One of the most highly paid people on the planet. One of the most successful American stories in America. You know? Just a hugely successful person. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, uh, <laughs> he is not second guessing the value and his surroundings and the resources that he has at his disposal. He is not thinking about any of these things. He knows what he has. And so therefore, what he does is that because of that, he makes moves based off of those facts. He is not studying about, well, I don't know if this will work out or that will work out or whatever it is, you know. Because underneath all the bravado, underneath all of the maybe arrogance that you might see him display or whatever it may be, which is really most likely confidence, honestly. Despite all those things, underneath all of that stuff, he knows this. If I fail at X, Y, or Z, then I know that based off of who I am and the resources available to me and the connections that I have within the legacy that my father has put in place, I will be okay. Like, he knows that. So he doesn't mind taking big risks. He doesn't mind. You know? So you might say that he's a terrible rapper, or you might say a bunch of stuff about him. And maybe rightfully so, whatever. That's not really the point. It is that he doesn't mind taking the risk. 
doesn't mind putting on a dress and trying that out. He doesn't mind exploring all of these things because, again, he knows who he is, where he comes from. He knows all of those things. He does not second guess about any of those things. He knows for, for sure, for sure, for show, for show. He knows. So, if we are sons and daughters of God, as in we have an actual relationship, because here's the thing about it. If I have a rich father somewhere and I never meet him, I never form a relationship with him, it doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> you know, it means something on paper, but it doesn't really mean anything in terms of connection to me. It's no different than if I wrote a book about the president, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be invited to the White House. I've got to know him personally. If I just show up at, like, you know, if I show up at, at, at Trump Tower asking, you know what I'm saying, hey, let me holler at my homeboy because I wrote a book about him or whatever it is, that's not going to fly. You know, security might come up, especially if I'm going to, you know, try to meet up with him maybe at, uh, at the White House. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying I'm going to do that. I'm saying that, you know, that's... That's kind of how ridiculous that is in terms of, you know, because I have some information about this, I have it down on paper, means that it's the, it's the equivalent of forming a relationship with said person. So those who have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, <laughs> um, like, you've got to, you've got to understand a few things about this whole thing you gotta understand that hey this is there's so much power in knowing who you are that the enemy tries to distract you from actually even getting to that point you know some of y'all are thinking about are so unsure of yourselves and so kind of behind the times in terms of the times of who you are and whose you are that you're sitting here on top of your destiny for the past 10, 12, 15 years without actually exploring that. You're sitting on top of a treasure trove you're worried about risks that you don't need to be worried about because of who you are. You know? You're not even set up to fail. At all. You're not even close to being set up to fail. If anything, you should be some of the boldest people on the planet because, not because of my ability to do X, Y, and Z, that has nothing to do with it. It is your inheritance. It's the things that we've been talking about for the past few episodes, the past three episodes, to be uh, exact. We're talking about this theme of getting back to knowing who you are and whose you are and knowing the inheritance and knowing those type of things, you know? And just knowing, period. It's getting back to that. Getting back to not even basics, but maybe it is basics, but it's getting back to reality. Really. Because reality for a believer is, re is different for reality for other people. Even if, let's say, for example, that you have more money, more resources at your disposal. Just on, like, some carnal, basic stuff. Let's say that you're going to do better financially than some other people. Because God's blessed you with those resources, right? Okay, cool. Now, oh dear, that's no bueno. Um, now, okay, you know that. So that means that my reality is very, very different than someone who does not have a lot of money or resources. I may not have to wonder where my next meal is coming from. Should I feel shame about that? No, don't be ridiculous. You're blessed. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'm, I'm alive. Okay, sweet. Um, I should feel blessed about that. You know, I'm not going to feel bad because of those type of things, you know, but my reality is different. 
my reality is very, very different. Ow. My reality hurts right now. <laughs> um, but that's, that's, because of that, if we have different resources and things like that, you know, that means that I, there's certain things that I don't have to worry about. That I don't have to concern myself with. There are certain things that I don't have to question and fret about and all that stuff. I don't have to do that kind of stuff. I just have to know some things about who I am and who I am and all those type of things. And I just have to go about what I'm going to do, who I'm going to be. I just, have to worry about, I just have to make some decisions based on those things. So I don't want to be long because I feel as though some of these have been a little bit too long. Or maybe I need to dividing them up a little bit better in terms of um, time and all that good stuff, right? <laughs> Multiple clips for one lesson, I don't know. But anyway, oh dear. Where did you come from? Um, but based off these things, there is a certain amount of maturity that you have to have and some understanding that you have to have in order to actually receive these things. Because a lot of believers do not want to receive what it is that they have all right in inheritance to because nine times out of ten, and this is sad, nine times out of ten, non-believers tell believers how to think, act, and feel. I feel bad for the blessings that God's given me. What? Christians shouldn't make money. What? How can you affect change? The word says, you know, that money solves all problems. He's preaching prosperity. No, that's accusation. If you don't know what's in someone's heart, you probably need to be quiet. So I know what spirit you're operating out of. It probably ain't love. <laughs> it's fear. Perfect love casts out fear. You know? <laughs> Yes, I'm using it as a human shield. Fight me. <laughs> oh, man. That's terrible. All right. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and book it out of here. And just remember who you are. Be thankful. Be thankful. One of the reasons why a lot of people get caught up in being depressed and things like that is because... The gratitude, they haven't, they've forgotten to take stock of what's going to make them happy. Counting their blessings rather than counting the things they don't have. Appreciation. Appreciate what God's done for you. Appreciate the sacrifices. Appreciate these things. They don't have to be that way. Always appreciate these things. It's a big doggone deal, man. She appreciate what God's given you. How can you say thanks to God and be and be thanking Him for all these things if you don't even take stock of these things? How can you even be happy constantly thinking that you're in lack? Count your blessings. Know who you are. Know it's who you are. And I've just seen this before. I've seen, and Scripture backs us up all the time. I've seen God do a lot of things with a lot of people who just believe and are thankful and are and their attitude their faith is just on a high because they take time to read and to meditate and to do all those things in order for their faith to be built up and I see God move very very strongly in their lives and I know that's happened to me when I'm in my right mind and when I'm not in my right mind and my right spirit that's when things fall back so anyway guys I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> nervously come around this corner and everything but i'll catch you on the remix take care of yourselves until then and bye bye